Oh, let us dig into this delightful meal that Rose prepared for me. Mmm, Rose that potato salad is good. Emmanuel, God is with us. Mm, smells so citrusy. This continued product. I love this product. It's Healthy Wear by Physicians Formula. It's not my color. It's a sunscreen, though. It's like a 50, yeah, SPF 50 tinted moisturizer. I use it for color correcting. Don't let the name on stuff affect you, you know? This right here is a color corrector on my skin. Favor isn't fair. Favor isn't fair. Oh, you guys, you guys, you guys. I know that Sephora changed their policy recently um, on returns, but I got the wrong color at the SAS sale. And I went into my store where they know me and I always shop. And she hooked me up with my color. She said, girl, the policy's changed. I'm just going to give you this one chance and tell you the policy's changed. And, um, but here you go. Here's your color. Look good. Thank you. Yes. Brand new. You guys, I have a brand new foundation. I used up my um, Becca that I loved, and it's still hot. This is a summertime foundation for me. But I'm thinking, because I put all those oils and everything on, a girl might just, you know, make it. But let's see how she does. Oh, she's covering real good. She's putting yellow back in my skin where I had, um, mm-hmm. Look, I don't care what you got to say about this is too light for me. I am not going to be the color of those scars from that bus accident. You see all that discoloration? Yes, honey. I'm going back to black. Oh, this foundation, I haven't used it since last summer. I know to everybody else it's fall, but um, in Southern California, a long time ago, they used to call this Indian summer because we have summer in August and September. I'm just blending this in. This is an e.l.f. blender. It's not my favorite e.l.f. blender. I have, for some reason, I keep my favorite blender in my bag and I just use this one that I don't like every day in hopes that I'll wear it out and um, then be able to switch to my new and favorite one because this one you know it just it doesn't the bristles are really really loose and they kind of move around. So if you have a foundation like this one that kind of moves around. So I like it, you know, I like it. You gonna love it. Now I'm gonna put on my um, color corrector. I know a lot of y'all like to color correct first. I don't think it makes a difference, people. All the makeup's going on the same face. This is Contour Cream Kit from um, Anastasia. Unfortunately, the rest of y'all didn't buy them, so she quit making them. Well, y'all bought them, bought them up. It was a trend. And then y'all just quit. So you can still see the blackness there. And so I'm going 
where the blackness is for there. I don't worry about the fact that, um, and you probably noticed that I'm just stippling this on. I'm not really worrying about blending it so much. It'll get there, guys, it'll get there. I think we're big mama. We gotta do this in, in parts. And um, this is my Lorac concealer brush. It came with my Lorac concealer, which I have lost. I used half the concealers in there, and then I lost it. Of course, I lost it after I used all my favorite ones in there, but still. Now, I'm gonna go with our second layer. And just put it there and go back with this. See how this brush does? I like a brush that stays in its shape, not one that when foundation gets on it, it gets all moppy like that. Well, if you hadn't already figured it out, today I'm talking about why you should kick Amazon and Amazon Prime to the curve and shop at the mall. I know y'all laughing at me, calling me old fashioned, but um, stores are closing. That means people that live around you don't have a job. They can't get extra money for Christmas to buy Christmas gifts for their kids because you can't be inconvenienced with being a part of a community and making sure that God provides for the people that live around you with your resources. Now, it's ironic because y'all the same folks that complain when you don't have a job, when your kids don't have a job, uh, when um, everything's closing in your area and you got to go hours away to um, get stuff. And you use that as an excuse for why you have to order online. Yes, I'm coming for you. Big Mama is coming for you. I'm right in your kitchen eating your potato salad and telling you how I feel about it today. I am about empowering myself, my community, my power, my voice. You're going to hear my voice when you walk the streets of my community. I live in Compton. We got an Ulta. We got a Sephora, we got a JC Penney's, we got an Ikea. And if it ain't there, you know, we may cheat and go to the Crenshaw Mall because, you know, they have the Afrocentric stuff there, you know, so I shop at the Sears there. Up until our Sears reopens, our Sears is reopening in Carson. We lost our Sears two years ago to the cuts, but we are getting our Sears back. And why is that? Because we shop in our neighborhood. We don't Amazon Prime. At Christmas time, we hiring, you know. You can go get a job at the mall. Now, to some of y'all, so, oh, you're only going to get so many dollars. If you have no dollars, any dollars are good dollars. I made quite a bit of money working at the mall. I was always happy to get my paycheck. And there is no way I am going to see young people today not have the same opportunity to have a job that I had, to have some extra Christmas money, you know, work a few hours here and there. I'm not gonna take that away from them. You know, you are taking tax dollars from your community so they can't take care of the streets and different things like that. Now, I'm not talking about politicians stealing the money, but um, that's an issue for the FBI, not for you. If you will make the change of purchasing 80% of all your purchases in store, your community will thrive, there'll be jobs in your neighborhood, and the economy in your state will improve by 250%, guaranteed. I don't even have to guess. So the bottom line is, you consumers are the reason why your community is jacked up. Now, I understand that that means that um, you don't get the sale. I understand that that means that um, sometimes I pay more for stuff. But if you look at it from an economic standpoint, 
If I pay more to shop at my mall in my neighborhood, and then my grandkids get a job at that same mall working 15 hours a week, I guarantee you I didn't pay as much as they're going to make. You know? Or my cousins or my friends that um, go to my church or the community center. You're looking at the people whose job you're taking away by sh being lazy and shopping online. You know? Do you know that the stuff you're getting, even if you're getting it from a store that you know, when you buy it online, it may be coming from China. That means that you may have put money into another country online. You want to, y'all want to complain, oh, all the jobs have moved to China. Well, you go on to Amazon and then make a purchase directly from China. So the money goes directly to China. Not one person has a job in the United States of America because you have a job. Not one person. That's not sustainable. Okay? That's not sustainable. Eventually, you won't have a job because nobody else around you is going to be able to buy anything. All that money is going to be in another country. I just use China. It could be any other country. Y'all buying from India. Y'all buying from China. Or you could buy like, I used to sell on eBay and people would buy from me in other countries. And I would ship to a site at eBay and then they would ship it from that site without it having my um, country of origin. And from that site, they would ship to all countries all over the world. So, but the bottom line is the money is going out of the country, out of your community, and your factories close, and your Walmarts close, and your strip mall closes, you know, people who don't have jobs, a lot of men start making crystal meth and stuff like that, or get into all kinds of nefarious behavior. Maybe they join those hate groups because they don't have nothing else to do. And now you sitting up in Ohio talking about do something about it. No, you do something about it. Quit shopping on Amazon. Go to your local mall. Watch your back because, you know, folks a little shady nowadays. Go to the local mall. Know somebody. Put your money into the hand of the person in your own community. You know, look somebody in the eye in your own neighborhood. I'm not talking about go across town to the good, luxurious neighborhood and get something. If you don't live in Beverly Hills, shop in Beverly Bills. You know, shop in your local area. That's how you're going to have some jobs and some success. It works here in Compton. If it could work here in Compton, we have been all on the news with crime and all this different kind of stuff. We don't have that now because we fought for our own community. So I'm telling you how to fight for yours. Nobody can take what you already have from you. Use the power that you have, the money that you have, to make a to have a financial voice in your own community. Now I know you don't want to listen to me. I know you don't want to listen to me. But I don't want to hear you talking about why we ain't got that in my neighborhood. Why I always got to go to the other neighborhood. Because you don't support your own. Get off of Amazon. Well, I got, I, I'm busy. Okay. It goes like this. You take care of your kids while they're young. They take care of you when you're old. You too busy to take care of them while you're young. You're going to live under the bridge. It works with your community too. Your community is always your kid. So you take care of your community while it needs you. And when it doesn't need you, it will take care of you. So that's what I'm talking about today. Hope that bless you. I got my foundation on here. I think I'm looking good. I think I'm looking good. I'm fentified here. Let me just throw a little bit of this on here. So you know. I always do. You guys, I'm getting worried because this is expensive and we're nowhere near the sale. Um, Sephora, if you're listening, send me one of them 30% off coupons for makeup. You know, target me because um, <laughs> Fenty, I don't have 20 I don't have $20 to replace this. This is my favorite, but um, when it's gone, up until the next sale because, you know, this is bad. Hey everybody, I'm trying something new Jesus here. loves you and I love you with all the Jesus in me.